children and welcome to Grace Point Kids Online. Oh, I hope you've had a wonderful week. And if this is your very first time, you are new to us, welcome, welcome. Please make yourself comfortable and just enjoy the lesson we have for you today. We would like to encourage you that if you are new, why don't you ask your parents to send myself, Liana, an email at liana at gracepoint.co.za to let us know that you are watching or ask them to connect to our Grace Point WhatsApp Connect. Send a little voice message or just a type message to tell us all about you and we will reach out and connect with you. Oh, we love to do that. Now, boys and girls, if you've been watching us for a long time, I know that you know that it's time for birthday celebrations. So boys and girls, if you had a birthday this week, why don't you zoom with me to the birthday board and let's say happy birthday to everybody who had a birthday. See you back now. Happy birthday to you all from Grace Point. We hope you got spoiled rotten and you got that special gift, that special party that you wanted. Now, boys and girls, as you know, we have to honor God and love God. And we do those in different ways. And if you've been watching us again for a long time, you know that we honor God with our finances. Now, we don't work because we only know to nine-year-olds, but we get pocket money or our parents give us some money to spend. And so I always teach you guys, 10% of any money that you get needs to go to God. And we honor him in that way. So boys and girls, if you have a little money box at home, pop it in there. Remember when it's full, ask your parents to pop the money into our Grace Point account. And then you will help us to reach out to those who are in need. Those are people who don't have food or clothes or place to stay. And you're going to help us stay online with you so that you can join us every single Sunday for a lesson. Okay, let's pray for our offering as well as for the lesson today. Are you ready? Okay. Father God, we just thank you for today. Thank you that we have entered into Lent where we are going to focus for the next 40 days just on you and your son. Holy Spirit, work through us and in us. Teach us. Let us not get to the end of this Lent period the same as we started. Father God, I also pray that you will bless every family who so generously give so that we can continue your good work, so that we can reach out to those in need and also to those who are not able to join us in person. Father, we love you. We give you all the honor and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, now we're going to go honor God with our voices and our and actions. And we're going to have an amazing time with Kezi and go and do some praise and worship. I'll see you back after that. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the worship with Kezi. My name is Kezia, but you can call me Kez or Kezi, whatever you're comfortable with. And what is your name? Well, it's very nice to meet you. And if you are here for the very first time, hi! I'm so excited you guys decided to join us this morning. I hope you learned something new and that you have fun. And for all of you who have been joining us for the past few weeks, hi everyone! I'm so excited you guys are back. I hope you learned something new and have so much fun with us. So today's song, or two songs, are super, super fun. So the first song we're going to do is called Great Great Burl Burl. And those are super easy. So we're gonna clap twice on our, hip, on our laps. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna go Great Great Burl Burl. Wicked, wicked, skill, skill. Can you do that a little bit faster? So you're gonna go, great, great, bro, bro. Wicked, wicked, skill, skill. See? <laughs> okay, the second part we're gonna go is, he's always there, he always listens, 
He always hears me when I talk to him. He loves me now and will forever. I choose for him every day, day, day. <laughs> so say it one more time. Everything again. So we go. Great, great, bro, bro. Wicked, wicked, skill, skill. Great, great, bro, bro. Wicked, wicked, skill, skill. And we go. He's always there. He always listens. He always hears me when I talk to him. He loves me now and will forever. I choose for him every day, day, day. And those are all the moves. So, are you ready? Perfect, let's go. I know I had so much fun. So the second time we're gonna be doing today is called Before I Go. So we're gonna go. Before I go, 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 I stop, pause, 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 pause. <laughs> Before I go, 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 I stop. Before I go, I stop. I don't want my day to flop. Before I go, go. Go, I stop. And then we're gonna go. Before I go all out beyond any doubt, I want my life to shout. God is alive in me. Before I go all out beyond any doubt, I want my life to shout. God is alive in me. We're gonna go. Before I run, 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 I walk. Before I run, 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 I walk. Before I run, I walk. I sit with the Lord and talk. Before I run, 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 I walk. And then we're gonna go do 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 do
split, split, I chill, mm, 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 mm. Before I split, 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 I chill, mm, 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 mm. Before I split, I chill. I say, Father, have your will. Before I split, 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 I chill. And those are all the moves. So, are you guys ready? Perfect, let's go. Or I go, 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 I stop. Before I go, 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 I stop. Before I go, I stop. I don't want my day to flop. Before I go, go, go. Before I run, 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 I walk. Before I run, 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 I walk. Before I run, I walk. I sit with the Lord and talk. Before I run, 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 I walk. And then I go. with Kizzy. I hope you guys had so much fun because I know I had so much fun with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy your weeks and enjoy your lesson and enjoy your day. Bye! Welcome back boys and girls. Oh, I hope you had fun with Kizzy. Isn't she just amazing? Oh, we all just love her. Now, boys and girls, are you ready for our new series? So last week, we finished our rugged journey. Please, if you would like to catch up on any one of our, our stories or our lessons online, please go to our Grace Point Kids YouTube channel. All our videos that we have ever made is on there, and you can take your time and work through them. Right, so today we're starting our new series, and guys, if you remember, this series is going to be about uh, something that happened this Wednesday. Now, I wonder if you guys can think, what happened on Wednesday? you most probably going, did I play sport? Um, did, I did I have a test? Uh, what happened on Wednesday? Well, boys and girls, on Wednesday, our Lent series started. Now, Lent is our journey. That's the road that we have to walk for 40 days until we get to Easter weekend. Now you all go, oh, I know what Easter weekend is all about. And what are you thinking? Of course, Easter eggs, Easter eggs, Easter eggs and bunnies and I don't know what else. Hey, if you go to any of the shops at the moment, there's just Easter eggs everywhere. Now, I hope, boys and girls, that after this series, you will realize there's much more to Easter and to our Lent 
period, that's 40 days before Easter, <laughs> than just Easter eggs. So that's what we are starting today because we started our Lent. We had Ash Wednesday on Wednesday, the 22nd. And so today we are starting our Lent series with you and we are calling it Love Like Jesus. Now, I hope that besides the Easter eggs, you know that Easter is all about hmm, who? That's right, all about Jesus. Boys and girls, Jesus sacrificed so much. That means he gave up so much. He was a king. He was the prince. He was in heaven. But he chose to come down to earth because Father God said, oh, I love those people so much, but because of all the wrong things they're doing, they can't join me here in heaven when they one day die. So Jesus said, oh, I have a plan. And so Jesus comes down to earth and we've just celebrated Christmas. Do you guys remember? Yes, where Jesus was born as a real human baby. And now we are going to walk with Jesus after 30 years um, on earth. He now started his ministry and for three years he showed us, boys and girls, what and who he was and is. And boys and girls, I just think Jesus is the most amazing person in the whole entire world. And I'm so grateful that he is my God. Do you know why? Because not only did Jesus come to die for us so that he could take all the things that we do wrong on him after he died on the cross and rose from the dead three days later, but also because that happened, boys and girls, you and I can have hope that when we, our time here on earth is over and we die, we are going to go straight to heaven because Jesus took all those things, all our bad things, the things that we do, he took on himself and he said, now when Father God looks at you, he sees the most amazing, beautiful, whiter than snow person standing in front of him. Oh, boys and girls, when I think about this, I just think that Jesus is the bravest person that I ever, ever known. Because you know what, boys and girls, he came to this earth. He came to earth knowing what he would have to do. Sure, boys and girls, if I knew that I have to go somewhere where I'm going to be hurt and, and maybe even die, I'm not going to go there. Forget it. No ways. But Jesus said, hmm, firstly, because I love God, my Father in heaven, because I love my Father in heaven, and because we love you humans, that's you and me, that is so doing such bad things. We love you. So I'm going to come and I am going to sacrifice. I'm going to give up my life for you. But boys and girls, that's not the only thing he did. He also showed us in the three years that he, he was talking to people from the age of 30. He showed us, boys and girls, how amazing is this? The same people who would kill him, the same people who didn't want to be with him, the same people who, who wanted to stone him, the same people who were laughing at him. Boys and girls, those people, Jesus said, I came to love them and to die for them. Wow, boys and girls, I don't know if I could love and die for someone who is bullying me or who is ugly to me. <gasps> could you? But you know what? Jesus said, hey, we, Father God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit loves you so much that we will do that. And boys and girls, wow, he did that. So oh, if I look at Jesus and he could do that, he could love people <laughs> like the people who were going to kill him, then maybe, just maybe, I should pay attention and see if I can love like Jesus. And how can I love like Jesus? Who should I love like Jesus? And so boys and girls, that is what our new series, Love Like Jesus, is all about. We're going to see 
who, what, where, how Jesus loved. And we are going to try our very best to do the same. Okay, so boys and girls, our very first lesson today is about the person that Jesus loves the most. Now, who do you think Jesus loves the most? Could it be one of his disciples, maybe John or Peter? Mm, not really. Boys and girls, you know what? Jesus, in, uh, I actually tried to figure out and try to count, but then I had to go to Google to see. But do you know, boys and girls, that Jesus mentions his Father in heaven in more than a hundred Bible verses in the New Testament, in, the, in, in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I was like, okay, so I get it. You know what, boys and girls, you and I, whoever we love the most or whatever our minds are full of, that's who we're going to speak about, isn't it? Whatever, whoever we love the most. So I think Jesus shows us very clearly, boys and girls, that Father God is the person that he loves the most. And that's when I went and I went, okay, well, let's see what the Bible tells us. And then I realized, hey, wait, Jesus actually said in the Bible the following. If you have a Bible, I want you to go to Mark, boys and girls, Mark 12. And this is Jesus speaking. And he says in Mark 12, verse 29 and 30, listen, Jesus answered, the most important command is this. Listen, people. He even says here, listen, people. Now listen. The Lord our God, He is the only God and the only Lord. Love the Lord your God. Love Him with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and all your strength. What did He say? The most important command. Love our God. Wow, boys and girls. So this is not my words. It's not even the disciples' words. It's Jesus' words. He's saying, if you want to love like me, you're going to have to do what I do. And that is love my Father in heaven unconditionally. So much that you cannot stop speaking about him. Just like Jesus, he couldn't stop speaking about his father in heaven. Wow, boys and girls. I was just amazed and I thought, sure, do I love the Lord my God like that? Do I always speak about Jesus and the Holy Spirit and my father God like Jesus did? Well, that's why we in Lent, so that we can see and learn. And, and then we realize, when we realize we don't, then we can change that. And you know what, boys and girls, do you know how Jesus showed us in the Bible how he loved his father? Well, number one, we just said it, he always spoke about him. Number two, he always put his father first. He went, and we have spoken a lot about how to put God first, didn't we? But he put his father first. Do you know what he did? He went every Sunday. Well, they have the Sabbath. The Israel, in Israel, they have Sabbath. And um, that's like our Sunday. He went to the synagogues. That's like our church. And boys and girls, he went there every Sunday. And he learned. He listened when people were reading the scriptures. He himself read the scriptures. So that means he also realized that he needed to read the Bible. So boys and girls, he even, as God, as the Son of God, he put God first by going to church, reading his Bible. He, he loved the people and cared the, about the people, which God commanded him to do. And that's the next thing he did. He obeyed his father. Jesus didn't say, well, you know what? I'm, father, I, I'm the father God's son, so I'm not going to do the Ten Commandments. Do you remember the Ten Commandments? Don't steal, don't lie, honor your mother and father, put God first. 
go to church on a Sunday, well, keep the Sabbath, hey? All those things, all those 10 rules that God gave us, even Jesus did them because he wanted to honor his Father in heaven by obeying him. And then, boys and girls, the most important thing, I think that I look and I see Jesus and I think about how much he loved his Father. He never stopped talking to him. He spoke about him and he never stopped talking talking to him. How do you and I speak to our Father in heaven, to Jesus and the Holy Spirit? That's right, we pray. Boys and girls, everywhere in the, in, in the Gospels, that is in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, it tells us how many times Jesus would pray right through the night before something big would happen. He always, I'm sure, I can just imagine the conversations that it means what he was talking to Jesus, uh, to God about. Oh, I'm so worried about John. Oh, that Peter, we know he's going to, when that rooster crows, he is going to, to say to people that he doesn't know me. Oh, we need to really pray for strength for him. And so he has these conversations with God the whole time. And so boys and girls, I just realized, okay, if I want to love like Jesus, Boy, oh boy, I'm going to have to do and be just like Jesus. So that is what I want to talk to you about today in our lesson. Why don't we follow in Jesus' footsteps and do exactly the same as Jesus? Let's never stop talking about Jesus, Father God, and the Holy Spirit. Let's never stop speaking to Jesus Father God and the Holy Spirit through our prayers. Let's never stop obeying God. Let's always put him first. Let's honor him. Let's honor our father and mother. Let's not fight. Let's not steal. Let's not lie. Honor what he wants us to do. Obey him in that way. Let's always put God first. That means read your Bibles in the morning. First thing in the morning, you shouldn't even be thinking about school or computers or your phone. The first thing when you open your eyes in the morning, it should be about putting God first, reading your Bibles, praying. Thank you, Lord, for a lovely night's sleep. Be with me today. Come to church on Sunday. Don't let sports in and people keep you away from God's house. Come and learn about him just like Jesus did. He never, ever skipped any Sunday. And then, boys and girls, let's never, ever forget to care for others like Jesus cared and loved. Ah, oh, boys and girls, and that is how we can put God first. Now, I want you to go with me to the experimental lab. And we are going to look and see what happens if I don't put God first and how I can put God first. Are you ready to come with me to the experimental lab where I'm going to show you what I mean by putting God first? All right, are you ready? Let's zoom there. Welcome back to the experimental lab, boys and girls. Now, I have some strange looking things here, don't I? I have some sweeties in here. I have a huge Kit Kat and I have some pasta. Now, boys and girls, let me tell you what they all represent. These sweeties over here, they represent, boys and girls, all the nice things that I like to do. Going to movies, um, maybe hanging out with my friends, um, going on bike rides. So it's all playing my computer games, playing um, on my iPads, um, swimming, all the nice things that I like to do. The pasta here, boys and girls, this represents all the things that I have to do during the week. I have to go to school. I have to make my bed. I have chores. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to study for a spelling test. I have to do homework. So these are all the lots and tons of things that we have to do during the week. And then my Kit Kat, boys and girls. This is God. This is all the things that I'm going to do to put God first. This is what this Kit Kat represents. The things that I'm going to do to put God first. That is reading my Bible, um, uh, 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 praying every day, anywhere, any place. Um, uh, this, is the, um, this is where I'm going to go to church every week. This is where I am going to um, uh, uh, 
care for people, make time to care for people, love people. And this is, so this is all the time that I am going to put God first. Now, the first time I'm going to do this experiment, boys and girls, I'm going to first do all the things that um, I have to do. I'm not going to put God first. So I'm going to do all the things, all the yucky things that I have to do at home. My chores, make my bed. Oh, maybe I have to wash the dishes. I have to study for a test. Oh, I have a sports game. Oh, I have to stay after school to, to practice. Oh, these are all those things that I have to do. Can you see, boys and girls? Yo, all the many things that fills up my day with all the things. These aren't always, sometimes they're nice things that I enjoy, but most of the times it's just things that I have to do. I have to go to school. I have to just do tons and tons of stuff. Okay, look at that. Oh, all right. So now this is me. Oh, by the way, boys and girls, this one here, this is my life. This is all the things that I have to do. Okay, so there's all the things that I need to do. Now, oh, I'm so tired. So now I'm going to enjoy all the things I like. I'm going to watch movies. I'm going to play on my iPad. I'm going to Oh, I'm going to hang out with friends on Sunday. I'm not going to come to church. I'm rather going to just sleep late. Oh, anyway, can you see, boys and girls? Whew, I am completely jam-packed. My life is full of the things I have to do and the things I like. Oh, I forgot this. All right. Okay, so uh, now Liana said I have to put God first. Oh, all right. I better <laughs> make space for God Um um, Adam, we have a problem. There's no space in our thing. Oh, Adam is like, oh my word, his eyes are very big because Adam is behind our camera, boys and girls. And Adam is realizing that we have a problem here. We don't have um, space for God now and all the things I need to do to put God first. Okay, this is a problem. All right, you know what, Adam? Let's stop and let's rewind this thing. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, Adam has rewinded this thing for us and now we're back. Okay, so maybe we should try this again. So now let's do what I have told you to do. Let's put God and everything that I need to do to put him first in first. That means when I wake up in the morning, I pray, I read my Bible at night before I go to bed or to sleep. I read my Bible, I pray. On a Sunday, nothing is going to stop me from coming to church. I'm going to learn at church. I'm going to take some time to care for people. I'm going to go drop off a meal for a person who is sick. I'm going to send a little note to my friend who's not doing well. Okay, so I'm going to do all these things and I'm going to do those first. Now, boys and girls, I want to, you to see this most amazing thing. Now, I'm going to keep all the things that I have done. Remember, this is all the stuff that I have done to put God first. Now, I'm going to put all the stuff that I have to do every single day. Oh, I'm messing now. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, there we go. Going to school, having to practice for sports, learning my poems. Um... Maybe I have to do some chores around the house, make my bed, pick up all my toys. Oh, I don't really like all these things, but hey, look at that. I have to do it. That's part of it. All right, let's do some more. Look, I'm still, God is, I still, look here, God is still in there. That's all the stuff. Remember, I put him first. Oh, look at that. And remember, I didn't take any of the pasta out. It's the same amount I had from the start. Okay. Now, I'm still tired, but now look, I've still got time now to do some nice things. I can hang out with friends after church. I can go to parties as long as it's not on a Sunday morning. Oh, I can still play some computer games. I can still watch the latest movie on TV. Oh, boys and girls, look at this. Look at this. My life is still full of all the things that I have to do, that I like to do. But now look at this, boys and girls. Oh, I have done all of that, but I have chosen 
to put God first before I did everything else. And you know what is amazing? And this is what Jesus teaches us, that if you put God first, all the other stuff will fall into place. All the other stuff will happen. Just put God first. What you think is impossible. Oh, I've got too much stuff to do. There's no way I can put God first. Well, God says what is impossible for humans is possible for me. And I promise you, boys and girls, I'm a very, 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 very busy person. But every day I put God first. And you know what? Every day, I don't know how, but miraculously, I get through my day. And I have done all the things I have to do. And I even have time to do something that I enjoy doing. So boys and girls from me and in the experimental lab, remember, always put God first and then all the other stuff in my life will fall into place. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you back in the studio. Wow, welcome back, boys and girls. Did you enjoy that experimental lab? I hope you never, ever forget to put God first. Now, unfortunately, in the Bible story I have for you, the person in our story, well, he didn't even forget. He just couldn't put God first. His treasure was not Jesus. So, boys and girls, before I talk about a treasure, let's go and listen and see why. Yeah, I guess let's figure out why the person in our story today hmm, will not go to heaven one day and be with Jesus one day. Are you ready to see why? Oh, I'm going to give you a little hint. Because he couldn't put God first. So let's go to our story about the rich young ruler. And when we're back, we're going to finish up our lesson with the last little bit of our story. Okay, see you back now. <music> Hello boys and girls and welcome to my story about the rich young ruler. We find this story in Matthew 19 verses 16 to 26 in the New Testament. Now a rich young man came up to Jesus and said, Teacher, what good thing must I do to gain eternal life? That boys and girls means to be in heaven with Jesus forever and ever. Jesus said to him, why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good, and that is God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Which one? he asked. Jesus replies, Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not lie, honor your father and mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I have wholeheartedly obeyed all these laws. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And then come and follow me. <gasps> but when the young man heard this, oh boy, he went away sorrowful, for he was very, very rich. Then Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you the truth, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again I say, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter into the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, um, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and replied, This is impossible for mere humans, but for God, all things are possible. The end. Welcome back, boys and girls. Wow. Wow. What a sad story, boys and girls. Here was an amazing young man who, in his own words, always did good. He followed all the commandments from God that God gave, hey, to Moses and to us. 
And Jesus said to him, well, that's fantastic. I'm so glad that you are following the commandments to honor your mom and dad and you don't lie, you don't steal. That's fantastic. But when he told him, well, you know what? If you want to go and have eternal life with me, if you want to have a perfect life and you're going to go straight to heaven when you die here on earth, go and sell and give away all your possessions. And all of a sudden, the, the man was like, oh, oh, um, I can't do that. And do you, do you remember, boys and girls, from our story? He turned away and he walked away. Because you see, boys and girls, he loved his money more than he loved Jesus. More than he loved Father God in heaven. More than he loved the Lord our God. You know what, boys and girls, in the Bible, in Matthew, I'm going to read it to you. It's such a beautiful, beautiful scripture. It says in Matthew 6, verse 21, your heart will be where your treasure is. Now, boys and girls, you all know from our pirate stories <laughs> that there are always treasures, hey, in our pirate story. And the Bible says your heart will be where your treasure is. So that means, what that means, boys and girls, is that what is important for you will be um, in your treasure chest. So unfortunately, boys and girls, if our friends or sport or our computer games or our movies or any one of those things, which is not bad things, boys and girls, but when they become more important, just like this rich young ruler, his money was much more important to him than Jesus and then, or Father God, hey, our Lord, our God. And so, boys and girls, he had to walk away because his treasure chest was not full of God. Remember what I told you in the beginning? Jesus, because the fa his father was so important to him, he could never stop talking about him and speaking to him. You see, boys and girls, what's going to come out of your mouth is what is important to you. So listen for a bit. See what comes out of your mouth. What are you talking about the whole time? Is it Father God? Is it about Jesus? Is it about the Holy Spirit? Or what is it that you are talking about so much? Like Jesus said, like I told you in the beginning, Jesus spoke nearly a hundred times about his Father God in just the first four um, chapters of the Bible. A hundred times. Now, boys and girls, sure, what are you and I talking about? Can we say that our lives are full of Jesus, full of our Lord, full of Father God? What is in your treasure chest, boys and girls? I hope that when I open up your treasure chest, boys and girls, that I will find, let me open it up. Ha. I will find, oh, look what I found. Oh, I found my heart full of the Lord your God and that you will love him with all your might, all your strength, all your heart and all your mind. You're going to make this craft this week, boys and girls. And so this is the heart that I hope you're going to find in your treasure chest. Because remember what it says? I'm going to read it again. Listen carefully what it says. It says, your heart will be where your treasure lies. So wherever your treasure lies, that's where your heart's going to be. And I hope Yet your treasure is Jesus or Father God or the Holy Spirit. Or we could just call him the Lord our God. Hey, please, I hope that this Lent season we will remember Jesus says, love like Jesus, love like me. I love the Lord my God with all my heart, with all my strength, with all my heart and with all my mind. And this is my prayer for you, boys and girls, this Lent, this 40 days before we get to Easter, that you will, boys and girls, like Jesus, love your Lord, your God. I pray that your heart will be full 
of Jesus, full of Father God, full of the Holy Spirit. I pray that your, your life will actually become less and less filled with the things that you like and what you don't like, and more and more filled with the love of God. Sure, boys and girls, I hope you loved this lesson as much as I did. I hope you understand how much Jesus loved Father God. And I hope you understand that that, if I want to be like Jesus, I'm going to have to do the same thing. I'm going to have to love my Father in heaven. I'm going to have to love Jesus, my friend. And I'm going to be love the Holy Spirit that's always around me and inside of me. Oh, boys and girls, I'm looking forward to the rest of the series. I can't wait to share it with you. There's going to be another person that we are going to love like Jesus next week. So don't go away. Join us again next week. And when we do, oh, we are going to have so much fun on Easter Sunday with our Easter eggs. Okay, so remember Jesus and remember we can also have fun. All right, have lots of lots of love this week and I shall see you in the Doodle Studio. Bye! Welcome back, boys and girls. Hello, Lols. <laughs> now, boys and girls, we are so excited to show you our craft for today. But before we do that, what must we do, Lolo? How to do it. Just doodle it, doodle kids. Okay, let's go and see what we have that we are going to do with Lolo today. Oh, this looks very, very interesting, Lols. All right. Now, the very first thing, boys and girls, that we always have to do is to go to the, the Grace Point website, go find the kids' webpage, and then go all the way down, when you're there, to the Doodle Studio, where you will find the craft for today. Now, on the craft, you will see there are four different banners. The one says strength, the other one says my, a mind, the other one says soul, and the last one says, yes, our hearts. Okay, so you're going to print all four of those off, okay, and the picture with the hearts, the two hearts. And the heart says, love the Lord your God with all your heart. Okay, now boys and girls, you're also going to need some coloring in pencils, you're going to need um a punch or a, a single punch. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need some pipe cleaners and some glue. All right. Now, you guys know how we do craft. We have to cut it out and we need to color it in. Now, boys and girls, we've, what we've done is we've used some color paper for our banners. The soul, the strength, the mind and the heart. You can choose whatever you want and or you could just um, color them in and put glitter on it and stickers on it. All right, so there we go. Now I remember you are going to also color in your heart. Now before you put this together, make sure that you get someone to help you to put two holes with your punch at the top of your heart. All right, Lolo, let's show the kids how we put this together. All right, so you're gonna take your heart that you have colored in. Look how beautiful Lolo has colored her heart in red. And then let's turn around and show the kids. You are now going to take your banners and your print and you're just going to put them randomly however you want them. Just stick them onto the back of your heart. And then you're going to turn back again. You're going to take your um, pipe cleaner and you're going to hook it across. Um, make sure that it's really hooked. And then boys and girls, what you can do with that is you can now go and hook your little, um, you can hook your little thing up around your doorknob or anywhere where you can hook it on so that you can see it. I would definitely hook it on your doorknob if I were you. It's beautiful um, to remember that the most important person that you need to love beside your mommy and daddies is the Lord your God. With everything you have, your soul, your strength, your mind and your heart. Ah, oh, Lolo, I love this craft. Now, boys and girls, as you can see, you have lots of banners. Um, you can make this for like all your friends for Lent. Um, you can give them all this that so they can remember to love the Lord your God with all your heart. Ah, oh, Lolo, thank you so much for this beautiful craft. We are now going to say goodbye to Lolo. 
And then we are going to go to Vicky. So, Lawls, bye-bye. See you next week. Bye. Welcome back, boys and girls, and hello to Vicky. Hello, Vix. All right, let's go and see what Vicky has for us today. I believe she's got a very interesting craft. Ooh, okay. So, boys and girls, always remember the very first thing you need to do is go to the kids' webpage on the Grace Point website and then go down to the Doodle Studio. And you will also find these with all the other craft that you saw in our first um, craft story. Okay, so there's hearts and then there's a very strange looking flat picture there. All right, so we're going to need scissors to cut those out. We need, we're gonna need some print and we're going to need some coloring in pencils. Okay, so boys and girls, um, Vicky has already done that for us because you know what is the next step. She's cut it out and then she, um, for now. Now boys and girls, we have done our little um, treasure chest on brown paper. But you can do it on white paper and then color and, and, and decorate your little treasure chest just like you want. Now what Vicky is going to do is she's going to show us how to connect so that you can have a nice little box. So guys, you'll see there's dark lines inside and on the outside of our, um, of our little treasure chest. Thank you, Adam. There we go. So Adam is now zooming in there for us. Now guys, what you need to do is you need to fold it on those dark lines. All the way around, you're going to fold it. Yes, all the way. Now you will see there's also some little lips on the side of those. Can you see? There's little lips there. So make sure you also fold the lips. So make sure it's the, the long dark lines, but also the little lips. There you go. Can you see? Beautiful. Now, how you're going to connect it, it's very easy. You're going to take those lips that you folded and you're going to attach it to the wall closest to it. Okay, so boys and girls, what we're gonna do now is you're gonna take glue and you're gonna attach it to the little lips and then fold the lips up and attach it to the wall closest to the little lip. There you go. And the same on that side. And then you will eventually have a little box, just like that. Okay, now what you will see, boys and girls, is that your lid is much longer than your box. So let's go look at the final product that Lolo, uh, that Vicky has put together. Sorry, Vix. Okay, so guys, you'll see that the, the lid is much bigger. So that means you have to curve the lid and then pop it inside of the box. So you're going to curve it and then pop it into the box. Okay, so there we have a treasure chest. Now let's go to our heart. Now our heart very clearly tells us exactly what's on our big heart. Now boys and girls, originally we wanted to put the big heart that Lolo made. Can you just show us again the big heart that Lolo made, Vicky? There we go. Now we wanted to put that into our treasure chest, but oh my word, it was too big. Because guys, if you remember from our lesson, I taught you guys that our heart will be where our treasure is. So if your heart belongs to Jesus and your heart belongs to the Lord our God, then your heart will be in this treasure chest with Him. Okay, so remember, we're popping in our heart with that verse, Bible verse, to remind you, boys and girls, that wherever your heart, wherever your treasure is, that's where your heart will be. Now make sure your treasure isn't your computer games and hanging out with your friends and all of that. Make sure that your treasure is the Lord our God and love Him with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul and all your strength. Oh, Vix, can you show us the front of your little box again? I just love it. There we go. And inside is our treasure. Who, who's our treasure again? The Lord our God. Well, boys and girls, you can go put your little treasure box somewhere where you will remember to make sure that Jesus and God, Father God and the Holy Spirit is in your treasure, in your heart. And then make sure that you have hung your little door frame that says the same thing. And for Lent, remember we are busy with um, love like Jesus. And Jesus is very clear in our lesson today that he just adores and loves and just respects 
his Father God in heaven, just like we should do. All right, boys and girls, have a wonderful first week of Lent. And Vicky Lolo and myself will see you back next week with the second lesson about lo love like Jesus. Have a wonderful week. Let's say goodbye to Vicky. Vicky, are you ready to say goodbye to us? Thank you for the beautiful craft. Why do we have to say how to doodle it? Just doodle it, doodle kids.